What's up everybody, it's your boy JS coming back after a long time with another review. This time we're going to be looking at the Avaton Pro Active Mix Cube and just to let you guys know this box weighs about 30 pounds. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting it to weigh that much so make sure you be careful. Let's get it. All right, now, so if you do a lot of mixing, it's important to get yourself some good reference speakers. The reality is that a lot of people, the majority of the people that are listening to music, they're listening to it in televisions, they're listening to it in YouTube, they listen to it in radios, computers, uh, car stereos, most importantly, and, and even your iPhone. So it's important to have some good reference speakers that can help you understand how your song or how your mix is playing back in small bass challenge systems such as televisions, clock radios, and all of these places. So it's great to have some good reference speakers. Now, everybody in the studio has a primary, primarily they have a two-way speaker. In the back, as you can see, I have the Atom A77X, and those are my primary speakers. They're actually a two and a half way system. Uh, the subwoofers is basically a seven inch subwoofer that starts to work together around the 38 to the, and then all of a sudden to the 400 Hertz. And then it fades out and continues to the second woofer and it continues to work mid range to 3000 Hertz. Now, when it comes to the Avaton uh, mix cube speakers, we're looking at from 90 Hertz all the way to 17,000 Hertz. So, like I said, it's great to have a reference speaker, especially if you're doing mixes. It's going to save you some trips from uh, going from the studio to your car. Now, as you can see, it comes with a AC input, uh, the Avaton's uh, power supply, cable connection as well, so that you can uh, connect it, as you can see. All right, so you have the option of buying either one or two. Some people buy one just to get the mono feel from it. I bought two and as you can see it, it allows you to you know you got the on and off switch obviously you have the ground lift switch as well the system gain I have mine around one o'clock it allows you to bring it up to a maximum of a 6 dB I'm looking at about two or two or three dB on mine just so I can match it with my Atom 77X so there you guys have it it's the Avaton mix cube speakers I use them quite often. I'm always A, A, B, and everything that I do on my DAW. I use Pro Tools primarily, and as well as Logic, and it just works like a charm. I A and B it from the Apollo X4. I'll be doing a video shortly to show you how to connect alternate speakers and how to A and B from directly from the Apollo X4 or any Apollo system that you might have. And uh, there you guys go. I, I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to show you really quick how uh, how this how it sounds directly from my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you right now. 